Small sample size, but what stood out to you if you well, break down the tape? It's not what stood out to me necessarily. Okay. We had C.J. Uzama, their tight end, on this morning yeah. and just talking about the impact of Aaron Rodgers on everybody on their football team and what he's taken away from having Aaron in their locker room and in their huddle and how Aaron individually in his experience has made them better. I mean, there was that clip of, of Hard Knocks where he's like, 34, you're not coming, you got to back up. And it, it, I'm like, how, do, how are you looking at that? And how do you know that? And he's like, well, I looked at the other safety, the other safety had to tell. And so I knew that, you know, 34 was going to end up going back. And I'm in my head, I'm thinking to myself, I was just looking at my assignment. What's the backside safety doing? What's the corner doing? Just I'm looking at the entire defense as a whole now and being like, oh, nice. It's going to be maybe this is going to be a cover three or maybe they're going to roll to two high structure and just things like that. It's it really is. It slows the game down immensely and it makes it a lot more fun. Those are four plays. You're going to watch those plays in youth football this weekend. Yeah. You watch them in high school football. They are elementary plays. But when they're executed at an excellent level yeah. because of all the little things he's learned from, it's not just him. The impact that he is going to have on everybody on their offense and not just the, like, the, the box score, but the way that he'll allow them to, to operate those plays for their own results, yeah. it's hard to quantify for everybody at home the levels that will be raised in a comes – when it comes to the offensive performance by all in New York. Okay, so you broke down some of the small things. But that touchdown, that looked kind of familiar, didn't it? That's very Devontae Adams-like right there. I, I'm not trying to go there, but no, I just absolutely. went there because it might be merited by about <laughs> halfway through the season with the way that Garrett Wilson has been performing this preseason. Uh, Sheffy, let's get to the Jets' offensive line. It has been a question mark, maybe the only question mark around this team this offseason. What's the latest change there? Well, Robert Saul announced that they're going to start Makai Beck. That would be a big boost to an offensive line that has been questioned by its own head coach during hard knocks, by all the critics out there, everybody wondering if this offensive line can hold up. But all of a sudden, if Makai Beckton can play at a first-round pick level, you look around and you say, well, they actually have some talent along the offensive line. Maybe this line can be better than people mm. thought. But this is the start. I think that they've made him feel comfortable. Aaron Rodgers has welcomed and embraced him, and it's lifted his confidence and spirit to the point where they're comfortable right now with him starting at right tackle. Yeah, it's always been the question, right? It's always been the question about just how secure they were going to be on the edges with Dwayne and Makai. And not whether or not they can last just week one, but can they last week two, three, four, five, all, all right. the way up to week 18? That's the issue because inside out, look, they're strong on the inside. <laughs> but you're right, they're, they're going to be fine with Vera Tucker and Tomlinson inside. What you've got on the perimeter or how much Aaron can mitigate some of the deficiencies that they have at offensive tackle. At some point in time, he would start to get hit if these guys aren't able to hold up and they aren't yeah. able to play at a high level. If they are, this is a very dangerous football team. Yeah. But those two guys are the key. No mistake about it. Yeah. The offensive line, certainly an essential part of a good offense. The Jets are trying to find their right five here as we get just closer and closer. What, what, that 13 days, 14 days to the Jets' regular season debut in week one. Get ready. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.